This is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, today I'm talking about how to recognize familiar spirits. Why would you want to be able to recognize familiar spirits? Because these are spirits that are used by Satan to block your progress in life and to release poverty, addictions, and premature death, and also to destroy the family unit. So this is a very important topic that you want to make sure you are listening throughout the whole video. So let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to explore your word, to dive into your word. I pray, O oh God, for divine protection over our minds, our heart, our spirit, as we go through this teaching, Father. I pray, Father, for clarity. I pray for understanding. I pray, Father, that any scales or lies or deception we have received into our lives, Lord, that these things be broken, severed in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I pray for an unveiling of revelation and understanding and insight, Father. And I thank you for every viewer. Lord, I pray your blessings and protection over them. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Let's look at the uh, definition of familiar spirits. They are evil spirits that operate in one's bloodline and are very familiar with an individual's strength and weaknesses. In fact, they are also called monitoring spirits. Their goal is to monitor family members and look for spiritual openings to invade a person's life to carry on the generational curse or the dysfunctions of a family. Okay, let's look at the ultimate goal of familiar spirits. The very first point that I have is the enemy wants to rob a person of their true identity in Christ. So the enemy knows that, um, that if he can rob you of your true identity and you don't understand that you're truly loved and accepted by God, then you will not be able to walk out the purpose and the calling that God has placed in your life. So the enemy, he comes in the guise of someone or something familiar and whisper lies to the person. So we have to be able to recognize when the enemy is trying to uh, sneakily uh, sneak into our mindset and bring deception. So let's look at the definition of familiar. The definition of familiar is something or someone who is friendly to you or known to you because of past history or experience. So getting back to really knowing that your identity is powerful because uh, when we know our identity, the enemy knows that we'll be able to walk out our lives according to God's will. So it, knowing identity shapes the trajectory of our lives. Our spiritual enemy wants nothing more than to take that captive. So Satan, the enemy, assaults the identity. He knows that if he can control who you perceive yourself to be, he can control how you live your life out. But there is a battle for the future going on right now. But God has empowered us to take a stand against the works of the enemy. So Satan attacks not only young people, he attacks whomever he can to destroy their hope, their confidence, their, their true identity and Christ. So he wants you to, first of all, disbelieve your value. It's the lie he's used from the very beginning that he used with Eve in the Garden of Eve. 
And the scripture says in Genesis 3.1, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? So here we see that the enemy is presenting himself as someone that's familiar to Eve. Satan wants you to doubt your value and your identity in God, but there is good news. Jesus Christ, he is our protector of our identity and the rescuer of our souls. And we can overcome when we really surrender ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ and guard our minds and our hearts by getting into the Word of God and this truly discovering our true identity is in Christ Jesus. So the goal, ultimate goal of familiar spirits is to block your blessings, abort God's plans for your life, cause premature death through sickness and disease. Now these familiar spirits are very deceptive because they will appear as someone close to you that you love and adore especially if you're entertaining an ungodly relationship or association or in association with someone that you should not be associating with. There are definitely spirits that is very familiar with the family history. Their goal is to kill, steal, and to destroy. So due to unrepentant ancestral sins, uh, they have a legal right to carry on the generational curses uh, that operate in families. For example, um, the familiar spirit of alcoholism. There may be several members in the family that are alcoholics. And so this familiar spirit will, uh, you, for example, say you don't drink. So this familiar spirit will prompt you to go ahead and take a drink. That is what you, that is how you recognize a familiar spirit. It's prompting you to go ahead and take a drink. And because that spirit knows once you start drinking, it will continue the process of a generational curse afflicting family members with alcoholism in order to get them out of the will of God. And so these familiar spirits, they are definitely connected to generational curses because of unrepentant sins that have not been dealt with or confronted in the bloodline. And so these spirits, they also are connected to sickness and disease. So their goal is to go through the the family bloodline and afflict with disease and affect family members to release the sickness or premature death. So they come to steal. These modern spirits do not want any anyone or believer nor non-believer to progress in life. So they steal your job promotions, advancement and entrepreneurship is hindered locked and delayed so are are there continuing cycles of accidents that is a familiar spirit are you having uh consistent falls that could be a symptom of a uh, familiar spirit so if you do everything it takes to progress in life uh, such as taking essential steps to move ahead in life, uh, but you find yourself blocked and hindered, it is time to confront these spirits of familiar poverty, familiar anti-progress, break the power of these curses off your life through repentance of ancestral sins and iniquities, any sin that may be active in your life, any covenant agreements from ancestors or covenant agreements that you came into agreement with, any vows that you made, self-imposed vows or curses, 
Those things need to be broken in the powerful name of Jesus. So if you ignore these spirits that are operating in your life, you come, you actually come into agreement with these spirits and they will continue to demonstrate they will dominate your life through stealing, killing, and destroying. Another way these familiar spirits operate is that they are connected to uh, incubus or succubus spirits. These are spirits that invade a person's life during sleep, mostly during sleep time, for the purpose of some, some sort of spiritual sexual encounter. So if you recognize these things are happening in your life, it is time to to step up and take authority over these spirits. So these are definitely familiar spirits and they can come through the bloodline into your children's lives. So it, it's necessary that we take authority over these spirits. So these spirits will uh, take on the guise of someone that you're familiar with and appear in your dream as someone that you love or infatuated with. And the So the ultimate goal of these uh, familiar spirits that operate uh, under the guise of incubus and succubus spirit or spirit spouses is to destroy any future relationship or present relationship. If you're designed to be married uh, and you recognize that you have something of this nature in your life, you definitely have to be proactive and take a stand against the works of the enemy. So because this enemy of, of familiar spirits will block and destroy a, a present marriage or even a future marriage. And so if you find yourself always been blocked, always having uh, defeated relationships, this is something you may want to ask the Lord about. So we can overcome these things, but we get into the Word of God allow the Holy Spirit to examine our hearts and we truly genuinely repent of any active sins in our lives so that we can gain our freedom, our healing, and our deliverance. So some of the signs of a familiar spirit that comes in the guise of a incubus, a succubus spirit, or spirit spouse, uh, you ne need to look out for symptoms such as rage, within your own life or the person that you are in relationship with, anger, ongoing arguments, a Dr. Dr. Jackal or Mr. Hyde type personality, sexual encounters during sleep, inability to marry, no peace in the marriage or family, no peace in the present relationship that you are in, and so these are definitely signs and symptoms of a familiar spirit that's connected to uh, spirit spouses and incubus and succubus spirits. And so you want to be proactive and just begin to repent and renounce any open doors that you're given the enemy. So say with me, Lord, I confess the sins of my ancestors that were involved in blood sacrifice, marine spirits, and occult activities. I confess my sins and iniquities. Name those uh, specific sins and iniquities if you've been committing fornication or having sex outside of marriage. You need to confess that and you need to repent. And after confessing your specific sins, you want to ask the Lord to forgive you, to wash you, to cleanse you by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And now it's time for you to bind those spirits, forbid them to operate in your life. And now, in the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I bind every familiar monitoring spirit and decree you are blind, mute, and deaf. And I demand you to leave my life and family in the powerful name of Jesus. 
No longer will you wreak havoc in my life. In Jesus' powerful name, I bind your powers to monitor my life and I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to disarm you. I decree in Jesus' name, no longer will I have visitations by these familiar spirits in my dream life, in my life during the day. I break your assignment of my life, your plans of counsel in the authority of Jesus Christ's name. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for the viewers that have said those prayers. I pray a hedge of protection over them. I bind the spirit of familiar spirits, monitoring spirits that come to steal their identity, that comes to steal their purpose, their calling, and life. I counsel those plans out in the authority of Jesus Christ's name. I bind those monitoring spirits on the authority of your word, that no weapon that Satan has formed against these viewers it cannot prosper and break it out by the sword of the spirit in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I come against the monitoring demons that want to steal, Lord, the, the calling and the purpose that you have for them. Father, I speak a release of financial blessings, oh God, into their life. They will progress. They, they will be pro promoted on their jobs. I speak a release of it in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for progress in their spiritual relationship with you, Father. Lord, scales are dropping off their eyes in the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that the enemy will not continue to monitor their lives because they're choosing to surrender to you and repentance, brokenness, contriteness. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So if you said that prayer, continue to stay in the word of God, renewing your mind, choosing to be obedient to the Lord, obeying God's word, walking it out, living in the Holy Spirit, and asking God to fill you up with his spirit. May God's blessings and protection be upon your life. So my next video, I will do a follow-up video. Video number two will be about chief characteristics of a familiar spirit. Continue to listen, and I will also give prayers and prayer points. Be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Be blessed and share the video and like the video. Have a blessed and wonderful day.